Hey guys, welcome back to Maverick Watch Reviews. Today we have the Aquacy High Metal Limited Edition 300 meter automatic diver. And this is model number 1769 BBS, which means it is the black dialed version. And as usual, we're gonna open this thing up, look at all the features and functions, check out the build quality, and then I'll let you know what I think of this brand new watch from Aquacy. Also make sure you check out my Amazon shopping channel for all of my favorite watches that I've reviewed on this channel, and be sure to visit my Teespring merch store and pick yourself up a t-shirt or a mug. I'll make sure to put both links in the description field for you. So here you go, brand new watch company called Aquacy. Nice um, kind of Pelican style case. This one actually feels like it's probably waterproof. So <laughs> it's got the little uh, the little decompression screw here. So I don't know, man. It feels it feels kind of legit. I'm I'm really impressed. So anyway, so let's go ahead and open this thing up. And of course, we'll put all the specs on the left hand side of the screen. There is a lot to go over with this watch. And I'll be honest with you, there's a lot of good, but there's eh, there's some areas of improvement. Let's just say that. So anyway, so you get the watch, obviously. Uh, you get a microfiber cleaning cloth. You get your uh, warranty card. Of course, a uh, owner's manual right there. Uh, you get an extra rubber strap, which is really nice. Got a little signed buckle right there. You get a strap changing tool to use on the spring bars. You get some extra spring bars right there. You get a screw for the links. These are actually screwing links. They're not just push pins. And of course, here is the here's the uh, bracelet tool right there. And you also get some uh, little uh, adapters in the bag along with some extra spring bars. So there you go. So you get a lot of stuff with this watch, man. I like that. All right, let's put everything back. Let's take the watch out. And like I said, we'll go ahead and pop all the specs on the left-hand side. All right, I really like this case, man. All right, and I've got another version of this too, by the way, that I'm gonna show you, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and do the review on the black dial. I have the mother of pearl dial that I'll show you as well. So anyway, there we go. All right, let's talk about these specs. You're looking at a 41 millimeter case. It's 11.65 millimeters thick. It's 47 and a half millimeters lug to lug. It's on a 20 millimeter stainless steel bracelet with screw in links. It does have a sapphire crystal with an AR coating. You get your choice of movement between a Miyota 9015 or an ETA 2824 2. Now, the power reserve on the Miyota is 42 hours, and the power reserve on the ETA is 40 hours, but of course, the ETA is going to be more accurate. Uh, it is windable, it is hackable. Uh, it's water resistant to 300 meters, which of course is 990 feet. You get Super Luminova BGW9. Uh, it does have a screw down crown over here at three o'clock. The date is also at three o'clock and you have a 120 click ceramic bezel. So let me go ahead and explain some of the stuff that you see on the dial here. That high metal water drop logo is an ancient symbol of the Maori people of New Zealand. It represents strength, good luck, and safe travels across water. The 1769 font at the bottom, right above the six o'clock index, it basically mimics James Cook's writing from his famous map of New Zealand back in 1769. Uh, the watch is available in nine different dial colors. Each is limited to 1,769 pieces. You get a four year warranty on the movement, which is really nice. You get your choice of a Miyota movement for $279 or $364 with the ETA movement. And so you get your choice of one of those, or you can wait until October 26 and pay the full retailer, which of course is $599. So you know, if you want one of these, you wanna get one of these now. Uh, free shipping in the US, everywhere else in the world is $38. And I'll put a link to the Kickstarter campaign in the description field for you. So let's talk about the stuff that I like, and there's quite a bit. Uh, there are some definite areas of improvement, and we'll talk about those a little later. I mean, I like all the specs, you know, ceramic bezel, sapphire crystal, choice of really nice movements, uh, great loom with the Super Luminova BGW9. Uh, the overall weight, fit, and finish of the watch is pretty nice, man. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, pretty impressed with that. Um, the multiple dial colors, there are a lot of them. So if you want to, you know, a watch with a red dial, this is the place to go and get one. Uh, I love the engraved high Matu case back right there. I love that. That is really, really cool looking. It's just really nice and shiny. Just a nice little touch. Uh, the sign crown has a nice feel to it. Uh, really, really nice action on the crown. Really nice crown pop. Screws in and screws out very easily. I like the frame around the date window right there, that little chrome bezel around the date window. I love it when they do that. It really differentiates the date window from the rest of the dial. Um, 
you get a lot of extras with this watch. Like I said, there's tons and tons of extra stuff with this watch. So let's talk about stuff that I'm not crazy about and stuff they can maybe improve down the road or maybe they can change some things. Again, all this is just my personal opinion. Let's talk about the basic, you know, looks of the watch. I mean, again, it's just another Rolex Submariner homage. There are tons of these things out there and I think we really need a lot more original designs. Again, I mean, it feels pretty well built, but it just looks like a Rolex with, you know, with different hands. The hands to me are super skinny. The hour and minute hand are way, way, way too skinny. Um, the uh, Aquacy logo, the actual text that says Aquacy, it's so blinged out, you can barely read what it says. It's so shiny in direct light. You can't, I mean, it's just, it looks, it's like a mirror ball. You can't see what it says. Same with the, uh, the high metal logo. You'd have to kind of really look at it to see what is that? I mean, what does that mean? So both of those are way, way too chromed out. In addition to the hands being way too skinny. Uh, the 1769 at the bottom, I think it just kind of, it just kind of cheapens the watch to me. I think it looks a little cheesy to be honest. Uh, you know, maybe change the font. Don't bling everything out so much. Maybe make everything like a, a matte, like a matte font or something. You don't have to bling out everything on the watch. I mean, the indexes are blinged out, the hands are blinged out, and too skinny. The second hand is blinged out and way too skinny. Everything is too chromed. It's just too much, too much chrome. <laughs> uh, the stamped metal clasp, not a fan of, especially when this watch uh, goes for full retail at $599. People are going to want a better clasp. Uh, and, and, I mean, it does the job, don't get me wrong but they're going to want a better clasp than this. Um, you do get a nice signed buckle right there, which is not bad. A little nice little signed buckle. You do get um, three micro adjustments. So the bracelet's not bad. I mean, for the price of this watch, I would expect just a little bit better. I mean, you know, that's me personally. Um, the bezel, God, we got, we got to talk about the bezel, guys. This is absolutely the hardest bezel I have ever reviewed on my channel. It's ridiculously hard. I love the fact that it's a ceramic bezel, but it's pretty much worthless. I mean, nobody's gonna be able to turn this underwater, even with gloves on. It's that hard, guys. I mean, it's hard for me to express to you how hard this thing is to turn. It's a little, it's a little ridiculous. So definitely might wanna loosen up the bezel on the next version of this watch or a new model, because this thing is just really, really hard. I do like the fact that it lines up with the 12 o'clock index. I do like that, that's pretty cool. Um, this watch is just such a mishmash of everything from all over the world. I mean, it's, you know, it's made in China. You get a Japanese or a Swiss movement. It's an homage of a Swiss watch, and this is sold by a U.S. company. So it's really, I mean, if you want to talk about diversity, this is your watch. I mean, it's got a little bit of everything going on with it. And I don't know. I mean, I just don't know if it really works for me personally. I like the build quality. I like all the specs. I think it's really the design that's kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence and leaning towards, you know, not crazy about it. I just, I've seen so many of these Rolex Submariner homage watches. We really need some new designs. I mean, where's all the, cre just like, you know, when people, when Hollywood just keeps rebooting old movie franchises, like I saw the bringing back Magna PI on Amazon or something or Netflix. I mean, come on people, we need some new designs. You know, put your thinking caps on, be original, be creative. And this just, this Rolex stuff is just so, uh, it's just so old and you need to think of some new stuff, you know, bring some creativity back into the, at least the micro brand watch world. I know Rolex is going to keep selling some manners like crazy, but in the micro brand watch world, you can do whatever you want. You can be whatever you want. You can design any watch you want. So with that said, I mean, again, love all the specs. I mean, with, you know, like I said, sapphire crystal, ceramic bezel, great loom, uh, great warranty on the watch, um, you know, great movements. Uh, but, I mean, if you want one, it is a good, I will say this, it is a good value for what you're getting. For, for everything you're getting, including all the extras in the box, this is really a good value. So if you can get over kind of the mishmash Rolex homage kind of design, and just think that the watch is very well made, it's got great specs, then you know, go out there and get one, man, because they're going to jump up in price uh, October 26th. And I'll make sure, like I said, to put a link in the description field over to um, Aquacy's Kickstarter page so you can go over there and pick one up. 
Um, they're selling pretty well, so I might be totally wrong. I mean, I might be really off base here. I don't think I am, but I might. I might be. Uh, and if you like, you know, if you like Rolex homages, hey, by all means, go get this watch. Find some way to maybe loosen the bezel a little bit. But by all means, go get this thing if you like the Rolex style homage watches. So anyway, let me also show you the Mother of Pearl version. And I've never been a Mother of Pearl version guy myself. Um, they just never do anything to me just because it's so much white. And I like the contrast of a black dial and white hands just because it's much more legible. So, I mean, you're going to have to look at the Mother of Pearl version for a couple seconds to see what time it is, uh, especially in sunlight. I'm under here under the studio light. It's pretty easy to see. But in direct sunlight, it's going to, especially with everything being all blinged out, it's going to shine on your wrist like literally like a mirror ball. It's going to reflect light, and it's, it's going to be a little bit difficult to read. But anyway, there's the Mother of Pearl version. Not bad. I mean, there you go. Again, well-built watch, great specs. So let's go ahead and try this thing on, and I'll go ahead and give you, um, we'll do a loom shot. I think it's a little bit big for me, actually. Let's see here. Yeah, it's way too big for me. I'd have to take out some links. But, you know, luckily they include that little mini flathead screwdriver to take some links out. So there you go. I mean, not bad. I just, I just wish they'd stop doing these Rolex homage watches, man. But not bad. All right, let's go ahead and get a loom shot. I'll go ahead and kill the studio light. Let's get a loom shot of this thing. Let's go ahead and kill this. Let's kill the monitor. And let's actually, let's do both of them. So the black's on the left, the white is on the right. And let's see how they both perform since I've got them both out. There we go. Let's go ahead and zap them. Now this doesn't have the loom of that, um, that Meritac, that Countycom Meritac watch that I reviewed, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. But it's not bad. So there you go. Not bad at all. Actually better than I thought. And look at look at the white dial version. I guess because you have that white contrast, it makes the hands look like they're glowing brighter. Interesting. They have that really kind of like neon glow to them. So, you know, guys, I take that back. The loom's actually pretty decent. Pretty decent. Not as bright, like I said, as the Maritac. But it's still glowing. It's not fading at all. So pretty good loom, man. Good job on the loom. All right, there we go. All right, let's turn everything back on. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. And like I said, I mean, it's really up to you. Great specs for the money um, if you don't mind uh, another Rolex homage. Um, and again, that's just personal preference. But anyway, guys, that's really been about it for this one. So anyway, head on over to Aquacy's Kickstarter page to get this for $279 with the Miyota movement or again, $364 with the ETA movement before it jumps up to the regular price of $5.99 on October 26. Also, make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you click that notification bell. I really need you to click that notification bell to make sure you get all of my notifications, all the new videos I uh, put out. Uh, again, got a, I got a world premiere coming up here in about a week. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I'm super excited about something that's coming up in about a week. And you're going to see why. I think you guys are going to flip out when you, when you see what I'm going to show you. I hope you do. I, I know I did. So anyway, guys, again, this has been the Aquacy High Metal Limited Edition 300 meter automatic diver, model number 1769 BBS. And until the next review, I will see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.